Hey everybody, my name is Cynthia, this is Tiny Tech Talks and today I want to show you how to make this dynamically displayed notification at the top of your website. And what I mean with dynamically displayed is I have this custom settings page set up in the backend of our website where we can change out the text and we can also change the start and end date of our notification as well as um, change the color. So if I save this and refresh, you will see that it actually changed on the front end. So to do this, you will need a few things. We will use, of course, Oxygen. So I have Oxygen installed. I have the new version of Oxygen installed on this website and then I do have Metabox and the full Metabox suite as I do have a license for it but the main thing that you will need is the custom settings page um, in Metabox and the custom fields. Now I do have Hydrogen and Automatic installed but that is definitely not necessary for this tutorial. So let's actually start all over again and let me show you how I did this. The first thing we want to do is create our settings pages. So let's go into settings pages, add a new setting page and I'm going to call this um, custom settings. Now the option name, I'm actually just going to copy it. Um, this can stay, although I do want to display it underneath our normal settings, so I'm going to choose show after settings. Um, we can keep this little gear icon, that's fine. I don't want a CSS class, um, I don't want the boxes, but I do want to add some tabs. Because we would probably also want to have like um, a general option where we put in things like the address of our client, um, and so on. But for this one, we're going to make a separate tab called notifications. And let's put that in here as well. There we go. And we can leave everything else um, as is for now. So let's publish this. And as you can see right now, underneath my settings menu, or my settings tab, there is a custom settings with a general tab and a notification tab, but it is still quite empty. So that's where our custom fields will come into play. So let's go to Metabox custom fields and we're gonna add a field group and let's call this notification. Well, actually let's go settings notification as the name and then let's go into settings because we want to apply this to our settings page called custom settings as the one we just created and we should want to show it on the notifications tab so that is all fine for now and now we want to add our fields so the first field we want to add is our text field so let's call this notifi notification text. So this is going to be our main message. And the next field we want to show or we want to add is a date field. So let's actually search for the date picker. So we want to choose that date picker. Um, let's call this notification start date. And we actually want to put this um, to year, month, and date. And then we want to add another field called um, end date. So again, we need a date picker. And then instead of calling it notification start date, let's call this notification end date. Again, use that format. And the last thing we want to do is um, our color selector. So we're going to use a select field. Let's call this notification. Um, let's go back. Crown color. And we want to have um, the red, 
choice. Let's have a green and orange. You can put in like whatever colors or names you want to give this. If you want to be like a warning, um, I don't know, promotion, you can also do that and then use this um, value and label um, way of giving it a different name for a different value. But for now, we're just going to stay on red, green and orange. Um, and basically, these are all the fields that we want. So let's publish this and then let's go into our custom settings. And as you will see right now, we have all of the fields we want. The next step is actually quite important as well. As you noticed, we set that um, date format. So let's go into our settings um, general. And we want to make sure that we are using that same um, date notation as we just provided. So make sure this is the same as we or you put in um, inside of your custom field. So let's save this because we're going to use conditions inside of oxygen to display it, but it needs to be the same structure or it won't work. So very important little step. And now we can actually go into oxygen and I already have my primary template set up. It's just a basic um, template with our header, the inner content and our footer. Now we want to add that um, section above our header. So I'm going to add a section and then drag it all the way up to the top. And let's add a text field to it. Now the margin is way too, or like the padding is way too big for this section. So let's go in here, advanced size and spacing, and let's just go with like one rem that um, looks pretty decent. You can go a bit bigger if you want. Um, that's kind of up to you. And then the only other thing I want to do is I want to center this text. So I'm going to go to my text block. Let's go to size and spacing and let's set the margins to auto. And there we have our basic notification. Now for the text, we want to actually pull in the data or the text that we um, set up in our settings page. I don't think we did that already. So let's go back to our admin for a second and actually put in some values in here. So let's go with this is a notification and let's set the start date before today and the end date somewhere after today. And let's go with the red um, background color. Let's save the settings. Let's refresh our oxygen builder so it can pull in the data in just a second. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is double click the text and that will show up a, or will show you a um, extra menu where you can choose to insert data. Now let's go to Metabox field. And as you can see, we have the fields that we created previously um, showing up here. So we need the notification text and let's insert that. And now if we click out of it, you can see that our text is showing up. So that's great. Um, now for some styling purposes, let's actually make this a little bit more bold. So, okay, that's perfect. So we already have our text displaying and the next thing I want to do is um, set up our background. Now to do our background, I'm actually going to use um, something called a data attribute. So for our section, if we go into advanced, you can see that there's an attributes um, tab. So we're going to add an attribute and we're going to call this data. And then let's call this uh, nodi dash bg color. So this is our notification background color and the value is actually going to be the value in our um, background color picker. So that's where we choose our value insert. And now whatever is inserted into um, or whatever we selected in that uh, custom field in that setting box is going to be displayed here. And let me actually show you this on the front end what happened. So we added this attribute and if we go to our front end, and let's actually refresh. Okay, there we go. Inspect. 
you can see that right now here on this section, there is this little data attribute that we added. So this data, not a BG color red, is added to our section. And we're going to use that to style the background of this section. So let's go back into our oxygen editor. And what we want to do is we're going to need a style sheet. So let's add a style sheet. I'm going to call this, um, let's call this global. And we're going to use that data attribute um, to set the background color. So how does this work is we need these brackets and we can say that data um, nodi.bg color, which is the data attribute that we just created. If it equals um, the value red, which is one of the options, we actually want to set the background color. to red and we're actually going to do that for the other colors as well so let's just copy paste it and then we had um, green uh, so the background color is going to be green and we have orange and the background color is going to be orange there we go so let's save this And now let's close this up, refresh. And as you can see, now it changed my background because if we go in here, we can see, you know, that it knows my background color is red. So we are actually matching this um, statement we did here. So then it sets the background color to red. Now, if I go into my settings page and I set this to green, let's save it and let's actually refresh this you can see it changed to green as right here in our code our data attribute says green and we match that um, condition now for the green one i do prefer to have a lighter um, text color so we can also change the text color um, to white whenever the data attribute but says green so let's save this and let's quickly check this on the front end there we go so the background is working the text field is working and if we actually um, refresh our oxygen builder you'll see that this is also working in the back end um, <coughs> so there we go so the last thing we want to do is set our date. And to do that, we will need to use the oxygen um, conditions. To set up a condition, we're going to select our section and then we're going to use or click this little condition setting icon. We're going to use the end condition type and we're going to actually check the show height based on conditions. That gives us like a visual representation of what we were doing. So let's go to at conditions and we want to add our first condition. So the first condition we want to set is if our date is after and let's pull in our data is after our start date and our date is actually before our end date and let's actually set that so is before our let's redo that just to make sure from our custom settings page there we go let's save it let's refresh well actually let's see on our front end so our um Notification is showing. So because today it's the um, 29th of May and it should be showing. Now let's say I want to show it from the 30th of May until like the 4th of June. Let's save it and refresh. As you can see now it is gone. 
So basically our condition is working. There's only one little problem um, with oxygen setting or condition panel. And that's the fact that you can only choose uh, either to do an end condition or an or condition. There's no way to combine this out of the box in oxygen. But if we also look at our condition, we are saying if our date is after the start date we set, meaning the day after the date we put in, or before the date we um, put in, that's when you want to show it. This can be a bit confusing maybe for some clients because if, for example, I want to show it from the 29th of May until the, I don't know, 1st of June, and I save that setting, so that should be from today until the 1st of June, and I refresh my page, it's not showing up because we are telling the condition to show it after the date we put in. So there is a way of writing your own um, condition and register, registering a um, date and time condition field inside of Oxygen, but that needs a lot of or a bit of um, custom PHP code. So that's kind of like an advanced way. So you could like do it based on date and time um, within the same field, but that's not a like a, a built-in option. So the easiest thing to do would be to change either the title or um, inside of our custom fields in Metabox, go into notifications and we can put in a label description or something that this is displayed underneath the label. So for the start date, what we want to do is tell your client or whoever is like managing the settings to put the start date one day before you actually want to show the notification, you know, because at that date at midnight, like after that, that's when it's going to start showing. We can say put in the day before you want to start showing the notification and then on our end date we can actually say after you want to stop showing the notification as it will also like if I want to show it between you know today and the 1st of July it will stop showing it at like you know mid that midnight or what one minute before midnight on uh, the day before if we put that in here and let's update you can see that inside of our custom setting notification it shows that little text uh, right here so if I want to start showing it from the 29th, I want to put in the day before um, I want to start showing the notification. So the 28th and the day after I want to stop it. If I want to still show it on the first, I have to stop it at the second. And that means that since we are right now in that same time frame, it does show up. So basically this is how you can show notifications at the top or at any part really of your website using conditions and using data attributes to style it. I hope you like this tutorial and if you want to see more then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get notified whenever I put out a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in another video.